Thanks for tuning in to the World XP Podcast. If you're enjoying the content, please drop us up, drop a like, and let us know your thoughts below in the comments. Also, please consider supporting our podcast via the link below. It really helps us out. Action. Welcome back, man. How you doing? Doing well. How you been? Chilling, man. Messi got his World Cup as of this morning. Uh, way behind on recordings, but, you know. Yeah, but more importantly, Eric got married. That did happen. That did happen. October, a couple months ago. Yeah. How's it feel, buddy? Kind of the same, to be totally honest. Like, we were already living together and all sorts. I think um, her dad said at one point to her when they were like, I forgot where they were going, but they were driving somewhere. She's like, yeah, my dad was like, you guys are basically already married. You just don't have the paperwork. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Like, it's been weird. Uh, like the last, like the year before the wedding was like all consuming. Like, okay, do we want this on the menu or who's like, who's going to be the officiant and who's going to take pictures and who's going to do that? And what's the order of people doing this and who's sitting where? That's a lot. Yeah, man. I tried to have fun with it. Not really. I didn't. I wanted to in my head, but I knew it wasn't going to be productive. So I was like, nah, let me just keep the jokes to myself. Like, <laughs> like put Jay with my grandparents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? They would have had a blast with him. Did you actually do that? No. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Yeah. I thought about it after his because he came on the podcast right before the wedding and he was talking about Tommy's best man speech, how he's gonna like pull a grenade out and just be like, All right, good luck everybody. <laughs> uh but yeah, no, I'm happy for you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. We have to go on a real honeymoon at some point. Um yeah. but we'll figure that out after the holidays for sure. But it's good. Sure. It's good, man. Um, but yeah, dude, just like real honeymoon and then be off to the races, busy with holiday shopping and all sorts. It's weird when all the families get big, like get bigger and then yeah. like you used to just buy something for everybody, but then yeah. there's so many like significant others and cousins and like great grandkids now and like all sorts that like everyone's just doing basically white elephant for everything. Yeah. It makes it, like, easier, but also, like, I don't know. You're not buying for somebody, like, you're just getting generic stuff for people. Yeah. I mean, your family big enough to start with before even getting married, so. I know, dude. Wild, man. It's like, when when we did the invitations, it was, like, my parents get 50, Jenna and I got 50, and her parents got 50, and, like, 40, mm. of, 40 of my parents' 50 was family. I was like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a shit ton of people on your side. Yeah, but yeah. Look good, I, haven't even, I haven't even started my holiday shopping yet, for real. I mean, I did for like my brother and my sister in law because they just came here this weekend with their kids. But yeah, Dude, you have one week, bro. Yeah, but I work every day. But I'll find some time. You could have ordered it on Amazon. I'll find some time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh fuck, dude. Yeah, it's I don't. It feels like it snuck up on us this year. Oh yeah, because that's the thing. I just started this new job, and I've just been like so, so deep into that. Like I haven't really focused on anything else outside of work. But like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I absolutely love this new job. So what are you doing? Yeah. I, um. Long explanation short. I'm basically selling health insurance with this consulting group out of Nashville. And, like, at first, I thought I would hate it just because, like, that sounds pretty boring and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then I went in for the interview, and they have Monday uh, Monday meetings, and that's when they had me come in for the interview. And, like, as soon as I walked in, like, I see all these people that are, like, our age and all of them, like, talk how we do. They don't really don't give a shit, like, about watching what they say and whatnot. So, like, I sat down. It was not what I expected. And, yeah, they just started talking about how much money they made in the past week and all this other shit. And, like, I was like... Oh, yeah, I think I'll like it here. But, yeah, all the people I've worked with, the people who are training me, they're all dope. And, yeah, they're just into the same stuff that we're into. So, work's usually – I've never been excited to go to work until I started working here. So, Well, that's good. That's a plus for everything yeah. then. 
And you got yeah. what, two two new songs out since we last talked? Um or three. I think two. So we talked before I moved here. So I dropped one, two. I dropped four since four. we last talked. Was yep. it Nashville, Hattie B. Stains? What are the other ones? Na- Nashville, Hattie B. Stains, um, You Don't Ask Me, which was the latest one. And then I don't know if I dropped Forget You, the one with my little sister. I think I dropped that like right after we talked. Yeah, it was around that time. Yeah, and then yeah. me and her got one more I was trying to drop this year. But yeah, I've been I've been busy with work. But I mean I'll probably send it in sometime this next week. So it'll drop like a week after the new year, something like that. Yeah, that'll be good. I wondered with your format of dropping stuff, like everyone used to drop stuff in album form where they would drop like ten or twelve or whatever. But you're just dropping yeah. them as you're just dropping them as they come. As, did you like why did you decide to do it? that way it's because i mean i hadn't dropped singles i mean i dropped like one or two singles like for the project like singles that would be on the project just to like do like a quick little promo before i drop the album and then like i mean the stuff i've been dropping after my last album is definitely like my best produced best mix and mastered all that stuff and but i had i had stuff on the last album that i thought should have done a lot better when it came to streams and i feel like every time i drop an album like certain songs get overlooked that like i definitely don't want them to get overlooked and then the last single i dropped that i didn't put on an album so i dropped the last album uh i forget i uh, never coming back or something like that mm-hmm. and then i dropped uh she like she like was is my most streamed song and so once I saw like dropping it, dropping a single versus dropping a project, those the numbers are just so much better with singles because like you're just focused on one song that's in front of you rather than a whole album. So mm. yeah, I I just started rolling with singles, and I mean once I have like songs like I, I I usually like want every song to get its attention that it deserves, but like eventually I'm gonna have to drop a project. But for now, singles are working when it comes to numbers. They're doing better than any of my other songs did before, so. Fair enough. I mean, that's a good reason. I'd say so. Um, all right. So for those listening, we've gone through Brandon's story already. And not to gloss over it, but I think we did a much better job of going through that in episode... 69? Was it? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, it was episode sixty nine. Yeah, we did a we did a good job going through his story. So today, just a holiday episode. We're gonna have some fun We're doing some top five debates. First one that Brandon suggested was snacks. Top five snacks, and I was thinking about it. I feel like we have to do sweet and savory as their own ones. Like you can't have like M and M's and then Chex Mix. Who the fuck the Chex Mix in their top five? It's just examples, bro. It's just examples. <laughs> You agree no, you or had, disagree? You, you, had, you, you had checks mixing your top five. I know you did. I might have. It might have been fifth. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I'm cool with that. All right, let's do sweet. Let's we'll do sweet first. So like, are sweet snacks different than candies? Though is that the question? No, nah, we're we're doing. We can do like chocolate gummies, all that stuff, all together. All right, so we'll do can we'll do like candies then. Top five candies. For me, I feel like chocolate and the gummies and the like the fruity stuff has to be separate. You're in charge here. You tell me. Oh, stop it. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> I was supposed to not be thinking. Um, All right, let's do chocolates then. All right, we'll do chocolate. So I feel like the standard Hershey bar has to be up there. Reese's has to be up there, I feel like. Fudge. I do like Reese's. Oh, fudge. Fudge smacks. Especially from like Bass Pro Shop or something like that. That fudge yeah. is so good. Have you been to Candy Kitchen? There's like Candy Kitchens up by um the Delaware beaches and like Ocean City and stuff like that. Mm, no. I, the only time I've ever been up there was uh I went with the twins and Evan and Jose and then like a few years ago up to Delaware Beach or Bethany oh, Beach. True. Yeah, there would have been yeah, one no, there. I didn't go there. The fudge from there is like 
It's so good. But yeah, so her, I feel like Hershey Bar Reese's just like fudge. I don't know. Chocolate. Um, what else you got in the chocolate? For me, my... All right, so if you asked me like a year ago, my number one would have been Snickers because mm. I absolutely love some Snickers. But lately, I don't know what it is, but like them Kit Kats. Kit Kats be hitting lately. I, I love some Kit Kats. Yeah, Kit Kats are good. Three Musketeers, you like those or no? I do. I honestly like them better than Milky Way. Everyone says Milky Way is better, but like, nah, I think I think Three uh, Musketeers three, is better three, than Milky Way. Yeah, Three Musketeers is definitely better than Milky Way. For me, dark, dark chocolate, number one. Like a Hershey dark chocolate bar. Like the special dark one that has um, oh, yeah. the, the red one. That, yeah. for me is, that for me is number one. But I know a lot of people don't like dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. I hate that shit. Nah, that's, it tastes like plastic. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it, t- it tastes... It just like... Yeah, it's, it's just no good for me. But the Hershey's, I, I like the best, even though I do love dark chocolate. I like the Hershey's with the peanuts in it. Oh, the yeah. The peanut Hershey bars. Those are good, too. Or no, it's almonds, not peanuts. Yeah, almonds. Yeah, yeah. almonds. Do you see they released um, a Reese's with pretzel, like, pretzel parts in it? Not parts, them, but like... Them zones are good. Yeah. I haven't had one yet. I haven't had one. I've been weird with these candies. I haven't been eating, like... I've been trying to avoid them for the last like couple years, but chocolate I'll I, still eat. I used to not like candy too much, just because I'd rather like not ruin my appetite. But mm. yeah, I've been a fat ass lately and just want to eat everything in sight. So like, I'll eat full <laughs> meals, grab that in between, and keep eating. And also, they put candy out all over the place at my new job. So yeah, it's just not stop lately. Do they really, dude? That's bonkers. There's so, there's definitely some jobs like that have free candy everywhere all the time just like laying out there i don't they know be stacking up the fridge too like they got like they put a ridiculous amount of celsius in the fridge celsius? And last week, for free yeah oh my god i might have to go work there no nah, i'm just messing i get you a job just come out to nashville buddy i just i just started a new one i can't be doing that get another new one Chase i don't think it work i don't think it works like that dude you can if you wanted to. Just That's let me true. know. I don't need yeah, no, a free Celsius, man. <laughs> they got they got white claws and Bud Light in the fridge too. All right. That's that's wild. Um all right, so we got dark chocolate, Reese's, Kit Kats, Three Musketeers. Um Oh my gosh! All right, so in high school, these mm-hmm. these don't still snag, but I haven't I haven't eaten them in a minute. The mm-hmm. Hershey Kisses, but you can't you can't just eat them like normal. You gotta like grab like two or three of them and just pop them in your mouth and let them melt in your mouth. I swear to God, that shit is amazing. Mm-hmm. The Hershey Kisses are one of my favorites. What about those like lint um the balls that got that got the filling in them? Like the different that, flavored like ones. The, like the that and the I'm gonna say this wrong, but like the Roche, whatever it is, like I, I don't know, but like the little bald chocolates are not my favorite. I don't know. It just tastes like a different chocolate to me. Mm-hmm. It might be, it might be like better chocolate, like actual chocolate rather than like the Hershey's. But I don't care. I'll take the synthetic, sh- the difference. <laughs> what about the ones that are like, um, like you find them in the Valentine's Day hearts, the ones that have got all sorts of different like flavorings and fillings. And oh stuff. my God. I remember, um, I remember anytime like my mom or my sister would get those for mm-hmm. Valentine's Day. I'd, I'd steal some. I didn't give a shit. I'd just steal them. Oh, those ones course. are so good. They are the ones with the cherry flavoring. I feel like are the best ones. I like those. I like the ones with the vanilla cream in them too. Yeah, those um, are good. The orange ones are good. They're all just good. Hey, the orange with dark chocolate. Them yeah, yeah. Those too. those ones are good. Oh, my gosh. No, my number one. I just remember. I don't know why I forgot it. My number one is chocolate turtles. Those are my forever favorite. What are those? It's like you got chocolate with, like, a chewy caramel. Not, like, the Milky Way caramel, but, like, the chewy kind. And then you got, like, a pecan or walnut or something in there. That shit's amazing. Are those where do you find oh 
Oh, some yeah. gas stations have them, but like I usually get mine from CVS because that's where they like have like bigger bags of them for cheaper. You know the other ones that the Easter ones that have got like it's like a chocolate egg with chocolate filling. Yeah, those are good too. Damn, there's tons of them. It's bonkers. I need that. I'm going to buy turtles tomorrow. I can't believe I forgot about those. That's facts. I won't, but you should. <laughs> <laughs> Taryn, Taryn might be on in a, in a second. Let's see. If we went to the sugary, fruity ones now. Sour Patch Watermelons. Those will last one. a while. So the reason why I asked about Candy Kitchen, besides the fudge, they have this thing called Jersey Cherries, and they're like sour cherry balls that are amazing. It's the best, like, hands down, the best fruit, like, fruit sugar candy thing ever. In my opinion, for me, it's number one for sure. I need to hit a candy store. But Sour Patch also up there for sure. Did you ever Are do the thing to... with Smarties when you were little? Where you like, yeah. crush them up and like blow it out the I'm thing? A, I'm a degenerate. Of course I did that yeah. stuff. Dude, everyone did it. I feel like when we were like seven, just like crush it all up and then just like blow the powder out and be like, look, we're smoking. And had no idea what it actually meant at the time. <laughs> No, but uh, Smarties, that's the thing. They weren't even like that. We just like fucking around with them. Yeah. Smarties, Swedish Fish are up there for me, for sure. I used Um, to love Swedish Fish, but I don't know what it is. They just lost lost the magic for me. I was at Bush Gardens uh, the other day, like last week. I love Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens is amazing. For Christmas Town. Yeah, yeah. And, um... They had gummy sharks in the candy store, and I, I like those are so bad. It's just like chemicals. Like not that the other ones aren't, but like those are more than the other ones. For real, because it's just, I don't know. It just looks like it is. It's a pile of goo. <laughs> I have. See, scientifically speaking, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't like the like the the only gummy like animals I like are the gummy worms or like the octopus, the trolley joints. Yeah, gummy are worms good. are good. Gummy bears are good. What about um not... nerds? Nerds, I like the nerd ropes. Nerd ropes like are the ropes. They had like um a strawberry lemonade ones that were pretty good. Those don't are fire. And then I, I don't like licorice that much, but like the mm-hmm. pull and peel licorice that tastes more like cherry. Those, yeah, those, are, those are good. Those are good. I'm trying to remember in like my Halloween bags when I was a kid, like what I would get. Because you had like warheads and shit like that. And those were the ones that you would just like give to your little You just trade your siblings. You yeah. 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 Be like, these yeah. are amazing. I'll take Swedish fish. Like. <laughs> No, uh, I, I usually don't like the sour. The sourest I'll go is the Sour Patch Kids. And I'll eat too many of them to where, like, it'll make my, like, up, like, the roof of my mouth start, like, rubbing raw or some shit. Yeah, that's the worst. I didn't realize that would happen with, like, I eat, like, uh, you know those little tubs of pineapple you can get at the grocery store? Yeah. If you, if you eat a whole one, like, your tongue will start to, like, bleed a little bit. I had no clue. I, <laughs> Dude, I did it, and I was like, oh, I must have, like, AIDS or something. And I was so... <laughs> It was so bad. I went to like that's the bathroom a, at work, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm dying!" And then I like googled the pineapple. Whenever, whenever I get sick, I can't really eat citrus because like it makes it ten times worse for me when I'm sick. But yeah, no pineapple. Pineapple. If you like leave it just sitting in your mouth, it'll start to eat away at everything because there's like some I don't know something in pineapple that like eats away at your muscle. Yeah, something acidic that we know all the science about. I mean, yeah, I, don't I don't know, know like, someone does. Yeah, someone does somewhere. Mm. Dude, Im- imagine being like that person where you're like, you know what? I really want to study pineapples. I mean, like we need these the wor- people. But, it's not the uh, worst thing to study. No, it's for sure weird. not. Like we need these people, but I'm not one of them. We are watching, Um, you ever seen Bones, the TV show? I've seen like previews for it. I never actually watched it though. Ah, oh, fuck, my phone died. Oh, well. Um, the, like, the main character or whatever is, she's, like, a forensic anthropologist, and 
she just says like anthropologically speaking and then just says a sentence and I'm like that's not a thing <laughs> <laughs> if so that I just have to believe them because I don't know what the fuck's about to come out of their mouth next I just I just know I won't understand it so no nah, nobody does they use big words like they call all the like the bones and stuff from the like so it's a crime show basically but they kind of they just like say stuff about Dude, I don't even know. Oh, I don't know. Um, all right, back to sour candy. So what else is fruity and sour? Mm. Um, <laughs> um I don't know. I think in my opinion, sour patch got the game on lock. They do for sure, but there's other ones. Remember those like um those gross banana ones? Mm-mm. Damn, maybe I just got abused when I was a child. <laughs> were they? You saying they were sour? <laughs> no, they weren't. It was just like a little banana hard thing. candy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Never mind, because I was sitting there thinking like you meant runs, like the different shaped hard candies. Oh, but no, 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 no. It's like no. there was a juice inside of it. No. Oh, then never mind. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there was those, um, those like cream strawberry ones that were always at like every, like open house and like old person's home. By yeah, every grandma, grandma had them in the purse, yeah, yeah, every single grandma. And then there's also the um, do butterscotches or OD. I I don't care. I love butterscotch. That shit's That's amazing. What I'm saying they're good. Like they they yeah. could they could easily sneak into the top five. For sure. Definitely. I mean, that, it's just a classic in the game. It, it's made its way. It's here to stay. Oh, it's never going away. No. Nope. Oh, here we go. What, Taryn? Yeah, yeah. Um, butterscotches. I guess I guess those count as, like, they're not really fruity, though, are they? I mean, nah, but they're, like, they're not chocolate, so we'll that's count true. Them yeah, yeah. We All right, so I don't. That. So I mean, it does have like chocolate in it. I don't know if you've had them, but like everyone who hasn't had them hates on them. But mm. they are amazing. Have you had cow tails? No, bro. Cow tails are so good. I seen this one dude on TikTok. He was like sitting here talking shit about cow tails. Like, what kind of idiot buys this shit at the gas station for fifteen awesome. cents? This shit's trash. And then he tried it, and he was like, "Oh my god!" Isn't that the little the cat things with the cream in the middle? Yup. Turn your camera mm-hmm. on. Yeah, those things are fire. Hold on. My the phone sucks. Ah, uh, you're... <laughs> One second. <laughs> this is exactly what happened at the wedding. Yeah. There's utter, utter chaos from the two of the from the two of them. It sounds like Zach is also going to be there. Is there a way yeah, to do this like my camera split screen terrible. so I can see both of y'all? Because it just keeps switching camera back and forth. <laughs> I don't know be, how to work you know, technology. Click on uh, like look at that. <laughs> you're basically a cloud. <laughs> click on oh. click on view. There's gotta be a way to do like grid view or something. Oh, let me see if I can fix this. Oh, I figured it. There we go. That light. Oh my god, there we go. Bro, these two like... idi- these two idiots. Oh, oh so Brandon, we've not talked since the wedding. So I had Taryn had to be in the wedding party, so I made sure he showed up on time. Zach showed up after the ceremony, but still ended up with the first drink. And how that happened is beyond me. I saw him, like, we said I do. Slide of hand. And then did the whole thing. Yeah. And I saw him at the back, like, waving with the drink, like, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Fashionably late. He was. Right. Him, him and Jay and Ty and the baby all showed up at the same time. Bro. Yeah. And they were close to me anyway. Jay, yeah. he'd be posting his baby like Jay Jay loves his baby. He's a good dad. Has to be. That baby's oh, yeah. adorable. So that cute. baby's adorable. So when I was right, sitting ten. next to them at the wedding, that like she was fixated on me majority of the wedding. She, I felt she, honored. She's gonna like light skins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eric's gonna be the next one with a kid on the way. Mm. Well, I guess I guess it I guess it has <laughs> we'll to be. See. I guess it has to be. Who else would it be? Not me. Uh, Fuck them kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you never know who's going to become a baby daddy. I'm not. <laughs> Zach said he's All I know is Zach, is Zach next. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, My brother just had a kid. Uh, 
what two days ago now? Yeah. True. Oh, damn. So Taryn mm-hmm. and Zach, we were talking about fr- fruity candies, top five. Fruity candies? Yeah, like Sour Patch Kids, like matter. nerds. All right, top five uh, fruity candies. I would say for me, it's Twizzlers. Ew. Uh, <laughs> then Twizzlers ain't even on my list. Then Skittles. Oh, oh Skittles! Skittles. How was Starburst, Skittles? Starburst, Starburst, Starburst too. Yeah, yep. yeah, Starburst is fire too. And then I like the high chews. Mike and Ike sours are fire. Mike and Ike fire. Oh, oh Mike and Ike too. Yeah, dude. Sour. Oh, yeah. I think I think those the high chews might be my my number one. High chews are amazing. Yeah, yeah, those are really good. Taryn, did y'all pay right. your electricity bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What you saw the request on Venmo? No, your lights off. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to cut it off because there was too much glare in the back. Oh, true. Yeah, Skittles, Starburst, Mike and Ike's, High Chews. Dude, we forgot a lot, Brandon. We did. Mm-hmm. We suck at this. <laughs> hey, it's fun, though, anyways. Now that we've got the other basketball people on, we can go top five NBA players of all time. Ooh, me. Mm. I'm number one. You said you. <laughs> Taryn, number one. <laughs> yeah. It's me. And then me. it's, uh, me again. then it might be, I don't know. Uh, me. wait, what's his name? Chris Mullen. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then, uh, Muggsy Joe Bose Ingles is up there. Yeah, Joe, Joe Ingles. Ingles. Yeah. Grayson Allen. Player? Yeah, Grayson Allen's pretty tough. Yeah, he's he, he's, and he's Brian Scalabrini. <laughs> Brian Scalabrini, I forgot about him. The white mom. Top five NBA players. <laughs> oh, Chuck Hayes. Chuck Hayes. <laughs> what is MJ? Is MJ one for everybody? Yeah, for me at least. I'm gonna say yes just so I don't get canceled over this. But no, yeah, it's we'll fine. <laughs> there, there's arguments to be made. That's why we're doing this. If there was no arguments, I would just put a list out on as a picture. That's the on thing. E- everyone says like you have to be like number one, and like you have to have rings to be number one. And like I don't know. Like I mean, my favorite player is Kevin Durant, and I feel like just the way he plays at the size he is, like he is the most skilled he, player in my opinion too. Yeah, I was he's a unicorn that. for real. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. him. You gotta see what win by Yama is gonna be like when he gets in the league too. Injured. Oh, oh. my gosh, that, that dude. Zach, did you say injured? injured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. the same thing that happened to Chet Holgram. Yep. Holgram. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, no, that's a different story. Chet Holgram ain't nothing like him. Chet. He'd get no. He'd be he'd be put on the sideline if they both were in the same position for the same team. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, no, that that's what I was just talking about. Cause Zach used to talk Chet Holgram up when he was getting when he was getting drafted. And I was like, "Yo, relax." Everybody's doing the same thing now with Wendell. He's gonna get injured. Yeah, but he moves yeah, so much faster than Chet. He shoots one legged threes yeah. from. Yeah. Dude, did you see he took size. he took relax. three steps from the three point line, and dunked it. No oh, dribbles. God, that's... That's terrifying. I hope he does. It is terrifying, dude. I want him to be he took his carry step from the three point line, or his gather step. I meant. Yeah, no. Yeah, he's not real. He's about he's he's about to be one of the like most sought after draft pick we've seen probably ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're telling yeah. him the team not to tank. But uh, no. What if he gets into the league and he bulks up like similar to how Giannis did? Dude, that's everyone's in trouble. He can, he can actually shoot. Yeah, that would be fun to watch. I would, I'd pay to go see a game. <laughs> that's bonkers, dude. Everyone would try and make him in 2K. Is there like my player? People are trying to make him already. Well, they're I know. Like, I'm no saying one can make someone six, I mean, seven, six, though. Well, that's seven, what I'm four, saying. They're going to have to like, they're going to have to redo how they do their builds. Huh? Yeah, 2K. They're going to have to redo how they do their builds, no? Oh, yeah. Or they're just gonna like let Wenbayama be the unicorn and not let people make that. <laughs> it's like no, like, we yeah. we can't let you do that. You'd have five that's on like... five of him only. Yeah, five on five. That, yeah, is... that's exactly how it would go. <laughs> that show would get boring. Everyone's just the same character. So where do you guys have? Where you guys have LeBron? 
LeBron, he's definitely number in the three. top three for me. Yeah. He's number three top for three. me. Number three. Kobe Who's Bryant's two number two. Kobe's two. LeBron. Yeah, Kobe's number two for me. LeBron's three. That's just because he, he grew up being my favorite player. Who's Same. four and five for you? Zach says Jordan, Bron, Kobe. I don't disagree with that either, to be honest. Who's four and five for... Like, honestly, at this point, with those three, it's a preference type deal. Like, who, like what the individual who is rating them prefers, like, on their gameplay. I, I guess I can agree with that. What do you think, bro? I mean, yeah. I think I think Kobe's four, but, like, I, I, I mean, I... Over Kobe. Five, so who's who's your top five then, Brandon? Uh, all right, so number one, KD, two, Jordan, three, oh, LeBron, yeah, yeah. four, Kobe. And then I got to put him at number five just because the way he's changed the game of basketball forever, oh, Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. Steph Curry's definitely probably uh, number four for me. Of all what's, time? Yeah. What's oh, that? Zach? He's, he's, one the, he's one of my favorite <laughs> players to watch. <laughs> Zach's what's modeled the, his Zach? name after Curry. What is he complaining about? What's Zach's five? <laughs> Zach, what's your five, top five? I got, now you're putting me on the spot with the next I already said my three, which was Jordan, Bron, Kobe. Kobe. yeah. Let me think for a couple minutes here. I don't know. Oh, really wait, Giannis is up there, too. No, he's he's pretty good and pretty damn good, though. He, I mean, no, I wouldn't say top five all the time. I would say top no, he's five not. dominant. <clears throat> Mm. Like, like you know, like on, like in uh, in relation to like Magic Shaq. Magic Johnson's number four. Magic Johnson. Number four for me. That's a good one. Honestly, that Larry man was fun to watch. Who? I like watching highlights. Magic five. Johnson and then Bird? Larry Bird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Larry Bird, like, just because oh, the way that he, he plays, like Larry anything. Bird. Like, I think I think the way he played was dog shit. It worked for him, but <laughs> yo, Brandon just said the way that Bird played, he thought was dog shit, <laughs> <laughs> but it worked for him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, he had a weird looking shot, but he made plays though. What about Shaq? He just he, he, he just had like the IQ. His IQ is what got him. Know, know, like, the the Zach, oh, oh yeah, absolutely right. Ter- like, uh, Zach, Shaq, Terrence. Can be up there, uh, I, like I know Zach don't have headphones, like, but yeah. let him. He can't just yell over everybody because then nobody can hear shit when they listen to it later. <laughs> okay. So just right, tell Zach, him so to like, shut when, up. Uh, yeah, I tell you when <laughs> like, we're all talking, so we all, we all talk individually. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, I got shut up. My problem. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't have anything to say. He was just loud. Okay. Wait, what, Eric, okay, what's your fine. top five? What did you say? Probably Jordan, Braun, Kobe. And then, like, huh? I don't know where to put, like, Wilt or Bill Russell or Shaq or, like, any of these people. Like, but, like, I have I three, say, and then KD is yeah. there also. And then I have, like, I feel like there's one, two, three. Like, those three are for sure top three. And then four through ten is, like, tied. Because they're all different. Like, how are you going to say Curry is better than Bill Russell? Like, they're just different. Yeah. Yeah. It like It's just like, um, I would say on the effect they had on the game. Like, Bill Russell and them were, and like, well, were all like really good because they were just like really, like more, like a lot more athletic than a lot of the competition there too. Especially yeah. with Will Chamberlain. Like. So, yeah. and like, think about, how skilled those players were when they were doing all that, all that stuff, like you know, making their name and stuff, and what kind of mark they left on the game, and that does, that does separate it, in my opinion. We're definitely forgetting somebody, like, and like we can talk top five big men, top five guards, wings, all that type of stuff, because like it is different based on position. Point guards would be fun. Yeah, we could do point guards. Top five point guards would be fun. Okay, top five point guards. Zach, go. Zach, go top five. Point guards? Yeah, yeah point guards. Oh, damn it. Why did I go first? Oh, we forgot about you Kareem. You suggested it. Magic Johnson. Who? Kareem. Uh, oh, we did forget about Kareem. Kareem is not up in there for me. Maybe. Kareem is like number seven or something. Okay. All right, whatever. Move He's on. He's just old. Top five point guards. He's just old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach's still thinking. Any any y'all want to go? Zach, how are you going to suggest it and then not know your own top five, dude? 
All right, we're doing top five, top five point guards. Since Curry is in my top five altogether, I'm putting Curry as my number one. Mm-hmm. Um, Magic Johnson, we got in there. Um, what else we got? We got. I'm not gonna put Jason Kidd in there, even though I he was top pretty three. filthy. But all right, what's your top three? Let me know when I can talk. You can go, talk now, Zach. Well, let, you can let me go. Just take my headphone out. Yeah. Right. Right. Shit. But, like, I'd rather hear them at this point. Okay, Zach, go. I didn't think I was going to be a part of the conversation, but now you, you got me talking. You don't have to be. I just had one question that I knew you I, would get you, you hooked. So. Oh, shit. No, I can't. Hello? Yeah, you're still there. Your, your phone is, like, literally the worst. Shut up. <laughs> it's like you're holding your phone voice. under a glass table. That's what it is. <laughs> this is, Brandon, this is why I don't do podcasts with them. But I figured it was the holidays, so right, it's not worth it I could be nice. It's not. It's fine. My speaker wasn't working for the app. I could call in. Yeah, just call in. <laughs> Do you want to send the uh, the link to Zach? Text it to him. To. My phone's dead. I don't want to ruin this. Okay. No, no, no it's I'm fine. Being invers- I'm being invasive now. You're not being invasive. invasive. You, you were invited right. also. Call into the podcast. The yeah, lines are in. ringing right now. Actually. <laughs> All right, while they're figuring this out, okay, my okay. Top phone. Brandon, go my ahead. Taryn, you're right, muted. <laughs> All right, Brandon, go ahead. We got Curry, number one. We got yeah. Magic Johnson. Yeah. Um, Who else we got? All right. If you asked me a few years ago, I would have said Russell Westbrook, but he's been absolute dog shit the past two years. Just like he's been like one of the more powerful point guards I've seen up until the last two years. Yeah, but um, I mean, we got we the problematic Chris Paul in Kyrie. there. Oh my gosh, yeah, because he was fucking Kim when <laughs> she was with Kanye, <laughs> so we got to put him in the top five. <laughs> um, who else we got? Oscar Robertson. No, not no. for me. No, Isaiah Thomas. The OG, mm. Isaiah, the OG Isaiah Thomas, not the not the new one. Yeah, n- maybe. We'll, we'll keep him around. Iverson, fuck yes. Fuck practice. What's practice? Um, Taryn, you can unmute yourself. And if I can't think of anyone. Or no, I'm going with John Wall. We're going with John Wall. Fuck it. John Wall, top five all time. I'm going John Wall. Kyrie Irving as well. I like the new players better. That's just. But I, that's, I got magic at two because no one his height was doing it like that. So. That's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's facts. But yeah, I mean, right. Kyrie. I don't. I don't. I, I don't like Kyrie outside of basketball. But you can't deny the fact. Why? Because he, he thinks the earth is flat. I think he's a nut. I mean, he's he not as probably... bad as Kanye, but he's pretty crazy. What about Steve Nash or John Stockton? Steve Nash. He's. A, I mean, if he's tied up in the top five, it's just. Yeah, he was pretty filthy, but. I don't think, like, he did anything that, like, other point guards haven't done, you know? Like, Steph Curry, that's why I have him at the top. Stockton, like, though? He's... <sighs> okay, well, yeah. We'll just put Stockton in there instead of Nash mm-hmm. because I'm getting clowned for the new picks, so. No, you're not getting clowned. I'm just throwing names out there. Oh, shit. Just, my... I... Oh, my bad. I don't think – I don't think – There we go. I don't think point guards have done it. I mean, there's been great no, point it's, guards. It's, it's, I think, like, if we're debating on, like, shooting guards, I small forward fall. stuff like that. Zach, like... I'm going to mute you too, bitch. My B, my B. <laughs> <laughs> I think shooting guards and small forwards just, like, I don't know. I feel like they've just done an insane amount for the game. Yeah, And, like, I power don't... forwards too because, like, LeBron and KD can be considered that at points and shit, so. What about, like, prime Derrick Rose? Or, like, Tony Parker. Oh, my God. All right. That's, like, if we're talking about careers that should have definitely gone different than they did, Derrick Rose, I feel bad for that, man. He was one of the absolute best point guards coming into the league at the age he was, doing the things he was doing. And then, yeah, I thought he was about to have a slight comeback, but no. Yeah. All right, Zach and or Taryn, floor is open. He's still trying to figure out his phone. But... <laughs> We can't see. We can't see. He's got to tap the video. 
No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> my hair's a mess. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expected to be on camera. I guess Taryn's hair is a mess too. What the hell is that? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. All right, my bad. Hang on. Background um, mute, he goes. All right, Taryn. I can't put my headphone in. I'm charging it. It's on two percent. We got audio difficulty over here. <laughs> Dude, what's really funny, I could just clip this part and just be like, these are my friends and everybody would understand. <laughs> How the fuck? Oh, here it is. There we go. All right. All right. All right y'all are, so, hey, when y'all are talking, you one, of you has, one of you has to be on mute. Yeah. yeah, I know. What's up, Brandon? Long time to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. What's good, buddy? How you doing? Just fine, man. Living life. It's been good. Glad to hear know, that. You're worried about your hair. We can't really even see it. Yeah, it's messy. Oh, uh, hang on. No, the <laughs> no, <laughs> phone. It's fucking terrible, dude. Here, now I can I got that shit it. sitting in a fishbowl. That's Turn the light off. Like. Turn the light off, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's why I warned y'all. That's funny. Ugh, you guys talking about basketball? Yeah, top five. <laughs> top five point guards. We're still on yeah, your that's, suggestion, that's dude. Difficult, man. That's that's a hard conversation. I don't know. All right. Magic, so Isaiah Thomas, and Steph, top three. And honestly, besides that, it's really difficult. My hair is fucking messy. <laughs> Go fix it real quick. No, no I'm, I'm good, bro. That. All right, here, here, Zach. Here's other names. Mm-hmm. O- Oscar Robertson. Stockton, no, Nash, old. Bob Cousy, uh, Jason Nash Kidd, Allen Iverson. Chris Paul, guys. Chris Paul was said next. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Yeah, top five, though. I don't know. Gary, uh, Gary Payton, Kyrie. No. Damian Lillard. <laughs> Rondo. Damian, Damian Lillard. Rondo. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I went. I just Googled it, and this is the list. There was like top 50 Google points. Who told you Rondo's a top five point guard? Nobody told me Rondo's a top five point guard. He's listed as number thirty-two on this list. Okay. Um. And right, ahead, say, uh, right ahead of MVP Kyle Lowry. Rose. Right. This is such a weird thing that we're doing. Everyone is career except for Derrick Rose. We're like, but prime Derrick Rose is better than all of them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Prime, yeah. prime Derrick Rose definitely got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle Lowry. Is, fuck Kyle Lowry. Lowry. He's, Kyle he's caked up, but I don't know if he's top five. What did you just say? <laughs> the best. JJ Barea. He 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 spanked LeBron in the finals. What about that Tony one Parker. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, he's winning. He's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. I said him about three minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I have trouble listening sometimes. It's bad. I don't know. This is kind of... I feel like we've beaten this to dead, though. I don't know. Okay, fine. What go, about, big, uh, go big uh, men. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. Bigs. Yeah. Bigs. Zach, mute yourself. <laughs> okay. My bad. Yeah, just left. I... Just... <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. I come through here. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> oh, my God, Taryn. And I stay off the That's... mute because he still talks. <laughs> All right. So, top five big men. All right, number one, Kareem. Number two, Akeem Olajuwon. Number three, I got to say my man, Bol Bol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. god. He did put on a show the other night, though. He, he nah, he's showing out a little bit this year. They're actually giving him yeah. a chance, but, but, um, uh, I, yeah, he's been working hard, sticking to it. His dad was a NBA legend, quote unquote. Um, but I would say, I, I've said Kareem, then Elijah Wan, and then number three, I would say Shaq. Number four, Yao Ming. Number five, Tim Duncan. 
Tim Duncan, y'all. Tim Duncan, mm-hmm. y'all be up there. Yeah. That's my top five for the big man. What'd you say? You said I said Kareem, Elijahwan. Elijahwan. Uh Shaq. Yao. Yeah. Tim Duncan. And Tim Duncan, yeah. You don't got Wilt in there? No. No. Like, yeah, like no, it was only be- I only say that because like you see videos of like the type of competition he was going up against. Yeah, I know. He was been, like at least a foot been taller me. than everyone on the floor. I was guarding Wilt. Yeah, and like, he's just getting easy buckets, and he was just and he was, he was really athletic for his size still because he was pushing the ball and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They had a lineup of highlights. me, Brandon, and Zach guarding Wilt Chamberlain. It wasn't going to go yeah. well. Yeah, I'll take him. That's how that fool got 150 in a game. 100 points of 50 rebounds? How do you think you're going to get 100 points? You get every re- fucking rebound. I just go for his knees. <laughs> Knock him out. Oh, just you got a him? point. No. I didn't Zach, say I, that. Zach, I have a question for you. Him falling would injure him, not me. What? Not me. <laughs> When you're when you're at oh, work on, when you're at work on Zoom meetings, mm, I don't. Is this, do is this what you do? What at work? Yeah. What What do I do? What do you mean? I don't know. Just like fix my hair. Like no, I'm in no, the no. mirror. Just or some shit? exist exactly as you've been. Yeah. Well, I do exist, so I don't know. Um. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Sake, yeah, man. no, yeah. Work is really fun. I make it. I make it light. It's nice. Oh my god! All right. But yeah. Caught us at a good time, honestly. <laughs> Do we care about the big men debate, or would would you rather? No, we don't. Wings? Okay, let's go to wings instead. I'm snoring over here. <laughs> top, top top five wings. Uh, I don't know. MJ, Braun, Kobe, KD. Yeah, it's a wing. He just um, said it. Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, that's true. Dr. No, J. I was kind of curious. No. <laughs> he was just a, dunk. a dunker. You know, he drafted himself first when they did some like mock, like everybody in a draft pool together. They took a bunch of celebrities and put them together. He Dominique had the first did? overall pick, and this man picked himself. Dominique instead, did? Uh, anybody else? Mm-hmm. Didn't, uh, didn't Charles Barkley do that too? Charles no, Barkley Charles Barkley picked did. Allen Iverson first. Oh. <laughs> they did a, they did a universal draft, and and Charles Barkley oh. picked Allen Iverson before anybody else. Like MJ was on the board, and he picked Iverson. Yeah, huh? that sounds like him. For like a universal draft with everybody in it. That was like what four or five years ago. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long ago it was at this point, but yeah. They're funny. They're old. They're all bald. <laughs> all of them. Besides like Iverson. Panel of bald Iverson's not bald. People. No, not Iverson. The the those old dudes. Shaq, Kenny, and uh Chuck and all those dudes. Hey, you remember when somebody pushed a Christmas tree on Shaq? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think Chuck's a better broadcaster than he was a basketball player, honestly. <laughs> He might be. Hot take. Oh, oh. He funny. might be. He was a good basketball player, but dude, didn't they win some award for like best TV show or something? Yeah, they have like Emmys or something. Yeah. See, there you go. I remember. He's got more Emmys than MVPs. I don't know. Um, good Morning America. Or <laughs> oh shit! Is, might have my vote. <laughs> yeah, that was actually kind of funny. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god dude hot take that's not a hot take that's a fact and i'm just fucking with it. could be a hot take i guess I think no we're... but it's also a fact you're right jesus christ dude what are we gonna do about our hair dude let me give you a cut I do like it for the free ski. yeah, yeah I need go, to, go to nashville get a cut before christmas especially dog i need something it's bad i don't know i don't really care like you work from home half the time, it's like, yeah, whatever. I like that. I don't think I'm gonna put. 
All right. I used last... to not care, but my anyway, yeah, my bad. Calling. I keep talking about it because right. I'm looking at, I'm looking no, at no, myself. No. I usually last, don't look at myself. Last question for Taryn and Zach, and then uh, and then you're booting us. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm booting you. Then we'll go back to regularly annoying. scheduled programming. <laughs> nah, it's just it's not <laughs> that. It's comedy. Hey, dog, comedy I'm sorry scenes. For, uh, comedy doing scenes. Being a being me. My bad, Zach, brother. That's why I invited you on. That's exactly the reason why, because you would be only you and no in between. That's oh, why you're the star. You. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> only you can get the hell out of my face. <laughs> uh, top all right, five, sorry. What were you gonna Top five biggest busts NBA history. <sighs> <laughs> Kwame Brown. <laughs> um, no, uh, that guy Bennett, who the Cavs drafted because they're dumb. How many spoon-fed picks do you need to fuck up in a row? That was like the epitome of it. Uh, that. Sorry, Mr. Bennett. He's, He's tuning in, so yeah. you know, yeah, you He's know, a he good listens. guy. He's a good guy, man. Rest in peace. Um, he's not dead. I'm just his career. Is. <laughs> Um, um, we all know what happened with that. Bennett, Kwame Brown, fucking oh that that guy who shot like Taron do it, the kid Gilchrist who like apparently he thought that he could find some inward elbow motion that would be more successful. I guess it didn't really work out for him. Uh, what are Gil- you talking about? Kid Gilchrist, Michael Kid Gilchrist, bro. Michael, what what do you do? do? Look up his jump shot right now on on Google or whatever. The, it, in. It, the first picture will be of his elbow doing something that I don't even think I can humanly possibly show you. To be honest with you, his elbow's in. It's the wrong way. That's how he shoots. Anyway, that guy's a bust. He was like the second overall pick. He's out the league now. Um, fucking what? Bennett, Kwame Brown. Uh, Kid Gilchrist. Um, I mean, can we say like Darko Milicic because of who was drafted around him? Yeah, I would say that because that was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Although I would say that's not really his fault that he was drafted where he should. No, but have been it's drafted. nobody's fault that they suck and they're and other t- people think they're good. No, I'm saying like. You know what I'm saying? He he was in the league for a while, wasn't he? I think I don't know. Sure. I mean, yeah. I, I, guess, mention- I guess I guess you can count him. We're not gonna mention Odin. Yeah, Greg Odin. Oh, that's who it was. I was like, "There's some tragic thing I'm missing. There's some like really tragic thing I feel bad about." You know, you I guys don't want to bring it up. But... The new, the videos that come out now are like they show him like talking to some old lady. I've seen this clip a million times. Yeah. They talk this like he's talking to, like this old lady. He's like, "You used to play basketball," and he's like, "Yeah, I used to one day." And you can just see how sad he is, bro. How do you not like feel horrible? For that man, when you watch that video, uh, you've seen what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Never. I've seen that clip like a million fucking times. He's like, yeah, it's like when he's out on his college campus and she walks up to him and he's got yeah. his headphones in. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You know the you know the thing. But yeah, man, that makes me sad. But yeah, that's probably the top five. I don't know. I have a th- I have a special part of hatred for Kid Gilchrist because of how his jump shot looks, though. So that's probably biased. But yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, Mason Plumley completely switched hands. So did Tristan True. Thompson. Maybe Ben Simmons should do that. It'd probably be helpful. What, what about, about Mark- Markel Fultz? He's good now. Oh, Maybe that's his jump shot's still, still like not, not not up the par. Dude, I'm pretty sure he was like averaging like 12 or at least 13, 5 and 5 or something. Well, when I say a buzz with him, like it's not in the sense that he's not good now. I'm just talking about like from how good that he was coming right. out of college. I'll be my Like coming out of college. He said he'll mute himself, and then he didn't. Yeah. I'm like an old man on this shit, dude. I haven't used this in a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Um, but, yeah, so what I was saying is, like, he was, like, seen as, like, a, a lottery pick coming out of college and because he, he was fucking insane in college. He had the nice and smooth jump shot and everything, and then that, whatever went on with his shoulder that, like, apparently people couldn't really figure out, and then his jump shot went through that whole weird phase. And I don't watch though. But he, he hasn't been the same since. He's not. not like, but compared to, think about how good he would have been if that if that should ever happen. Well, You're not wrong. Well, maybe you can take like. Because like his his jump shot was smooth. He was one of those dudes who could get, like get to a spot and pull up in a person's face and drain it like majority of the time. Okay. And then he lost that ability when he, he had that whole stuff. 
Yeah. Again, I, showed, I told you that. All I'm saying though is, if that shit never happened, and he was and he was playing now the way that he was playing when he got drafted, we would see a lot more highlights of him. Uh, not the magic store, right? Yeah. The Bull Bulls taking all the highlights. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Bull Bulls the shit. He is the shit. They should have gave him a chance a long time ago. Yeah. There's like one YouTuber. There's like one YouTuber who like fought, has been following Bull Bull. And, like, the only thing he talks about is how he has to, like, they need to give him a chance. He's really, really good. And, like, no <laughs> team has given him a chance until the Magic, basically. Like, the Nuggets just didn't play him. Is he better there than Taco Fall? Or that he just didn't play him. Because apparently he's kind of an asshole. I don't know. Like, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't try hard he's to practice. He's that's definitely what that's better been than reported, Taco at least. Fall. In my opinion. Yeah. Fair <laughs> yeah. What about Taco <laughs> Fall? My bad. They said no, you're good. Not Taco Fall in China. Taco Fall in China. That doesn't like, count. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you're like, seriously? But, like, Taco Fall in the league, then... All right. Do you want to sign off? <laughs> all right, we're going to go. Well, that's all right. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Right, so Merry, hey, very good to see both of you, for real. I hope you all are well. Have a blessed day. Have a good night. Merry Christ. Chrysler. And, um, <laughs> Merry Chrysler. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for having us. For oh, sure, guys. guys. How do I sign Good off? Talking All right, with there you. it is. You press the button. <laughs> All right. Deuces. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Bro. <laughs> we should have just told them to go to separate rooms. <laughs> no, it's, it was too complicated, man. Uh, we could have just let them go. They would have done their own podcast. <laughs> I almost did. I was like, Shh, don't say anything. Just let him keep going about t- Bull Bull and Taco Fall. Oh, you could have hung dude. up on Zach and he still would have thought he was on. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, if you're listening to this right now, comment a an emoji of some kind. I don't know. <laughs> dude, I have no words. I have no words. Oh, my God. Uh, they got they got opinions. They're pretty good ones, but he said Taco Fall in China, bro. Dwight Howard got a spot <laughs> on the lineup in <laughs> China. Oh my god, dude, these two are insane. Are there any other? What is it? What's another good top five debate? We should do one more before we before we get out of here. Um, um, but it um bum bum. I don't know. Because you said you weren't sure if you wanted to do music artists. We can do, maybe we can do, like, there's so many. I feel like we just do it in, like, with candies, there's, like, a finite amount. Like, I could put you in my top five musical artists. In my heart would melt. <laughs> um... Video games. We do top video five games. Video, video games. And don't put like like 2K counts as one, not like 2K12 oh, yeah, okay. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But all right, before we get into this, when we moved here, uh, I packed up my PlayStation and I have yet to find it since we got here. And I am very pissed off. I would have not stopped. I would have not done anything until I found it, to be totally honest. I did that like two days straight, and it got me nowhere. <laughs> so, whoa, yeah, so it, it evaporated. I have no idea where it went. So, the movers probably got a free PlayStation. I wish we had movers. I took two trips here to move everything here. You sure moved it, and you still don't know where it is. Yup. Damn, man, that's some ass. Yup. Oh well. All right, but top five video games. I got to go Call of Duty as my number one. Yeah, I, I feel like that's got to be number. I feel like that's got to be up there. The FIFA franchise, 2K. Um, if we're doing like of all time, I got to say yeah. NFL Street. NFL Streets. Uh, yeah. Nostalgic for me. What about like the backyard football and backyard basketball? Yeah, that's in the top five. I used to yeah. I used to sit at the computer back when we had like you had to have like the fucking I don't even know like the box underneath the computer. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. <laughs> like, yeah, no, nah, definitely backyard baseball and football. 
Um, a little mother, that Pablo Sanchez, a yeah, little dude, quick greatest, <laughs> greatest athlete of all time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This. Did you ever play Civilization? No. No, that that franchise has been pretty good. World of Warcraft. I didn't play it, but I feel like it's got to be in there. Maybe it depends potentially. Who you're ask. If you're asking virgins, then yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, that's it's that's not for me. Yeah. I don't I didn't really like the game, but so many people I know played it. It's like the like you could say the same thing about like Minecraft or something. Or yeah. or like um Fortnite as well. I I the only reason I don't like Fortnite is because I'm an absolute dog shit at it. Like especially like back when they had the building and everything. And now that like you can play without doing the building stuff, but like I never yeah, played like, it. I never played it. Do you do you think it fits into like the all time video game list or no? I mean, if we're ba- going based off everyone's opinion, then like possibly just because the numbers it's done. Yeah. But yeah, for me, it's I, I just don't like 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 that and like uh, Warzone. Like for some reason, I'm not good at like the free open play type shit like that. Like yeah. if I'm playing if I'm playing Call of Duty, I like like playing live with like multiplayer, like free for all. I don't know, like capture the flag, shit like that. Yeah. If we're gonna go like all the way back, like Pokemon probably is up there. Mm, for not for me. I mean, yeah, it was good, but just yeah, it's I can never get into it. I don't know why. Mm. And then Pong. What? Yeah. Pong, the OG, the original video game. Oh, like the one that with the two blocks on the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pong, dude. Oh, or like I mean, then you yeah. can get into the mobile ones. You got like Angry Birds and like Fruit Ninja and stuff like that. Uh, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah, yeah. It's called. yeah. Plants vs Zombies as well. There's a lot of different ones. Call of Duty definitely has to be up there for me. I think Pokemon is up there as well for like just the numbers. Like if you're talking just all time video game like success, it probably has to be in there. Yeah. But yeah, no, I definitely Call of Duties because I remember I just some of my favorite nights were just staying up late, like when I was in middle school, high school, like just chugging a bunch of Mountain Dews, eating Pop Tarts, and killing a bunch of zombies. I shit's a blast. Mountain Dew, Pop Tarts, and zombies. <laughs> I if I had my PlayStation, I'd do that shit tonight if I could. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Oh my god. All right. But yeah, no, recently we got this um, virtual reality headset thing, like the Oculus or whatever it mm-hmm. is. Bro, that took some getting used to. Like, the first time I put it on and tried to play something, I almost threw up. Like, the motion sickness is... Really? Un- yeah, it's absolutely insane. Damn. I haven't put one on yet. I've been kind of, like, avoiding it. Um, yeah. Just, like, all the stuff you hear about, well, Zuckerberg's company and... All the rest of the stuff, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, um, Twitter and YouTube and, like, how all they're, like, tracking everything and doing everything else and, like, getting Alexas in your house and all the stuff. And I say that as, you know, I am recording all my thoughts and putting them on the internet. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm worried about, but. I mean, yeah, that shit's gonna happen regardless. But I mean, if they want to, if they want to track my shit, like, fuck it, I don't blame them. I'm trying to keep up with a fly G like me, you know how it go. So, <laughs> and on that note, everybody, have a merry <laughs> Christmas. Ah, uh, no, but actually, though, I have nothing else to say. My brain is off. For those listening, I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I invited the other two, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, on so they would have their own podcast. And uh seemed to have worked itself out. It's good to see they you, were dude. very entertaining. Nice they talking to you, buddy. Yeah, man. We got to do this again. Well, I'm not feeling like buns. It's not COVID, by the way. So if, uh, you know, mom is listening and I show up at Christmas next week, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not going to infect you guys. So. Fingers crossed. I think. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh fuck alright guys we'll see you guys next time peace Merry Christmas y'all Merry Christmas